Welcome back to another video and right now I'm going to teach you on how to breed betta fish and we're going to choose our breeder and I'm going to show you two ways on how to breed betta fish. All right, so We are at our betta fish room which houses a lot of bettas as you can see in my background. Take a look at those. What are the things that we're going to need when we are about to breed a betta fish? Of course, a betta, like this one, a tub like this, which is approximately 2.5 gallons. This is where I normally breed betta fish. However, right now, just for demonstration, we're going to use a 2.5 gallon tank, which I have two right here. You need to add water. It's the same type of water conditioning that I've mentioned on my previous video which would be linked right below so try to watch that the water that we need for breeding betta fish is approximately around 2.5 to 3 inches and the reason for that is because so that the male will not have a hard time picking up the eggs that has fallen from the bubbles and also picking up the eggs from the female while they're breeding like what I mentioned, I'm going to teach you two ways of how to breed your betta fish. So, most people do it the first way, which I'm going to show you right now. So first, we're going to need this. And that's what we're going to use to house the female while the male is on their courting stage. So right now, we're going to add the female right there. So we now have the female betta fish, which is a red candy copper koi. It's time for us to add the male right here. As you can see he already has a bubble nest right there and he's definitely ready to breed. And for that we're gonna need a betta scoop like this one. So the reason why we need a betta scoop is because we're also gonna get the bubbles as much bubble nest that we can get. So to help him establish a bubble nest, and then we also have the male right here. So we now have our first breeding pair of betta fish. So as you can see, they're still on courtship stage. Now the reason, again, the reason for this cup right here is so that to make sure the female will not be damaged through the breeding process. However, throughout the years of my experience breeding betta fish, I actually found out a way to determine if the male and the female is really ready to breed. Like, you don't even have to put them on a courting stage like what I'm doing right here. You don't have to lock up the female in a glass closure inside the aquarium. You can actually directly put them together and have them mate right away. Like what we're going to do with this I'm one. I'm sure you remember him from the last time or from our last video. And right now he's definitely ready to breed. As you can see he's not even flaring that much with his neighbor. So it's just showing confidence that he's the top dog right now. See? He's not swimming around or trying to attack anybody. He's just trying to show that uh, he's a handsome boy. So let's get this better fish right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get as much bubbles from the bubble nest and transfer it to our breeding container. And then after that, that's the only time that we're gonna get the male. Alright, so we already have the male right there, also the bubble, now it's time for us to get the female.
Now, the only time that I will advise you guys on doing this the same way that I'm doing it right now is if you've already mastered or if you've already amassed enough experience on what to look for for breeding or on what to look for on a breeding pair of betta fish okay now I would also not suggest uh, for you to breed different tail types as much as possible if you have a half moon you breed it with a half moon or if you have a half moon placat which is HMPK you breed it together with an HMPK as well and the reason for that is because uh, these tail types or these specific tail types are already stable and as much as possible we wouldn't want instability in our betta fish line like for example it might cause you to have more culls than quality betta fish of course if you're gonna breed you're always striving for quality rather than just quantity of breeding Alright, so that concludes our video for today. So don't forget to click like and subscribe. Click the notification icon, which is the bell icon below. See you guys real soon. And before I go, just a quick inspirational quote for all you guys out there. Alright, my message for you today is be unstoppable. Now, if you know that your endeavors were doing and you're not hurting anyone in the process, be relentless despite the obstacles. Now, be mindful of the tips on this video. If at first you're not successful, never give up, and soon you'll have a lot of baby betas.